Hey guys, it's Amy from Two Oaks Farmstead, and this morning, my littlest little and I are doing a project that I've been wanting to do for a while. Just a small little project, but it is hotter than blue blazes out here, so we're trying to make it done and get it done quickly. Um, I'm we built, you saw, um, if you followed us, you saw the pergola that we built on the edge of our natural pool um, last year, last year, year before that, I forget. But I've wanted to put up some curtain panels on it for a while, for one, so that we can close off that hot west sun if we need to, but also just because it's decorative and pretty and I just wanted to do it. So we've got some, um, I'm using conduit pipe for the curtain rods and the little brackets that um, go with it. I'm using three quarter inch and um, putting them up there. Right now I'm measuring and cutting with the um, grinder, the metal grinder. And if you haven't done that, you wanna make sure that you're really careful that stuff. Um, grinders can, the disc can break apart and spin out everywhere. <laughs> And um, you want to make sure you wear um, eye protection because the sparks, the little metal shards can definitely um, get in there. That's happened to me before. But I am measuring and cutting right now that I'm going to show you what we are doing with um, placing the brackets and then placing the curtains. The curtain panels I made last night. They're just basic outdoor canvas. And I really, really made a very basic um, curtain. I did a double rolled hem at the top. I did a three inch hem at the bottom and um, should get us the right coverage <laughs> um, for what I'm going for. Anyway, I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so what I'm about to do right now, we've already got the long poles hung, and this beam is in the middle of our other long sections, so now we're down to short sections. So I measured those um, spots for the pipe, and I got them cut, and now these little brackets are what go around their conduit brackets, and I'm going to go, I've already got a place marked where I want my rod to hang. And I'm going to go ahead and get those attached. Oops. I'm using inch and a quarter screws so that it doesn't go through the outside of my two by framing. Using these little um, curtain holders here, um, they're just gonna we're gonna slot them on the pole prior to putting uh, attaching it, and then they have these cool little clips at the bottom that can clip on to the very basic panels that I made. And then this is where we will put this um, curtain panel. Now we've got to get the rest of them done. You can see my beautiful assistant up there right now putting in one of the pipes. He's already got the little curtain hangers on it. And are you going to put the bolts on, bub? Yeah. Okay. So I can move on to the next one. Okay, so it's been a long and tiring day. But in the process of this day, Mason and I did get the um, pergola drapes finished. And I want to show you what I did here. I'll walk out here and show you. 
that's basically what it looks like. I've got two panels at each corner. That way, I figure the only time we're really going to want to pull the pull the drapes is going to be in the evening on the west sun because we get some serious west sun over here. But um, I just think it looks cool. I do. I just think it looks really neat and pretty. Um, we've got what I did. I mean, I showed you earlier with the up there the conduit that I used as the curtain rod and how I attached that and then the very basic um, curtain panels that I made out of outdoor it's like I'm kind of a lightweight outdoor canvas and then I use I decided to use rope it's 3 8 inch rope as my curtain tie backs and I used little cabinet handles as um, the what holds it what holds the tie back i didn't want anything there were so many options but i didn't want anything that could possibly stick out and catch me <laughs> as i run by because that happens i'm telling you that happens if something is sticking out i am absolutely going to run by and get gouged by it so i was thinking of myself really honestly <laughs> my kids are much more careful than i am but so the handles are perfect to stick this 3 8 through and they they kind of hold back a little bit they're not sticking out not going to gouge me so it seems to work pretty well i'm excited to see it this evening i mean when our lights are all lit up and the, and the canvas panels are up there I'm, I'm excited to see what it looks like but that is my project for the day hope you like it I tried to show, take um, uh, photos to show what it looked like at night, but they didn't seem to do it justice. So, video it is. If I can stop shaking it. <laughs> the curtain panels really add something along with all of our twinkly lights on the pergola at night. I love it.